Well, good evening. As you can see, I got a pre-release kit. This one is one of two. This is Urza's Iron Alliance. I did not get Mishra's. Um, that's another $28 I just didn't want to, couldn't afford. But we got Urza's. So let's see what we got. Now, I flipped a coin to uh, see which one I was going to get. So hopefully I got lucky. That's really kind of cool. I don't, uh... oh, it's got all the little tokens if you're going to need them. That's a good idea. Yep, yeah, that's a good idea. The uh, nice box. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I got the, uh, I didn't get the Mishra deck. I got this one. Now it's just because, you know, it, uh, it is what it is. Ooh, black and green. I like it. It'll spin down as black and green. Twelve. Oh, I got nine. Okay, so it's nine. There's the little ruler reminders. And some artwork. Urza's Iron Alliance. Get your gears turning. That's cool. And it's about the Brothers' War. So we're not going to look at this one until the end. Let's see what we get first. But let's open up these babies. There are quite a few cards in this set that are actually uh, very sought after and a couple of commons that are really, really good. I see them being in uh, the popper decks r relatively quick. Maybe even one of them banned. Okay. And hello. Fo are we going to focus? I'm going to open up a couple of them real slow and then I'll open up the other ones. Burrowing Razor Maw. No four. Milling is big in this one. Bitter Reunion. This was one of those uh, cards. Uh, it's enchantment. One in a red. Enters the battlefield. You may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Or draw two cards. Sorry. Pay, sacrifice one. Sacrifice creatures you control. Gain haste until in turn. This is a, a stronger version of uh, Faithless Looting. Um, and that one was an instant. Where this one is uh, enchantment. So a little harder to get, kind of get rid of. Let's see, comments. Uh, Zil Kill Zone Acrobat. Goblin Firebomb. Not a big fan of this one. For one, it flashes in. Great. And seven more. Tap it and sacrifice it and destroy target permanent. But it costs you seven. Uh, I don't know. Recommission. Not a bad card. Curate. I like this one. Surveil two and draw a card. Good for those mill decks. Gaia's Gift. Trample Hexproof and Indestructible for two. Put a 1-1 counter on target creature you control. Gains Reach, Trample, Hexproof, and Indestructible until in a turn. Yep. That's a good card. Excavation Explosion. Deals three damage to any target. Create a tapped Power Stone token. Okay. Stone Retrieval Unit. Get a tapped power down. Yotan Frontline. Frontliner. Okay. Unearth is back. That's nice. Defabricate. One in a blue. Counter target artifact or enchantment spell. If a spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it in the owner's graveyard. Counter target activated or triggered ability. I see this one being used a lot. Ooh, Mishra Excavation Prodigy. Okay, human artificer, legendary creature, haste, discard a card, draw a card. Okay, whenever you discard one or more cards, add two red. This ability triggers only once each turn. That's not bad. That's pretty good. And the rare mythic is... Dun, da, da, da. Ooh, Thanos. Thanos the Toymaker. Human Artificer, whenever you cast a beast or bird creature spell, you may copy it, except the copy is an artifact in addition to its other types. Okay. That's actually kind of okay. And then, Ooh, Chromatic Lantern. I was just talking about this with a friend of mine. Chromatic Lantern in the retro frame. This one's good. And, oh, and I got Gix's Command Foil. That's cool. Three and five, put two one-one counters on up to one creature against lifelink. 
Yeah, so I was talking to a friend of mine about this uh, chromatic lantern. I actually tra traded him one of these for a couple of, for three Holdens, Hodens, and uh, it's a great mana fixer. So it's, it's one of those, I actually wanted it in retro frame too. So it's a great mana fixer. Well, it does tap and give you mana, it fixes your mana too. Mm. By the way, this episode is brought to you by Ruby Port. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I do like this set. I think this set is actually, I've been looking at the cards, very interesting. Oh, Emergency Weld. I think this is a great set to uh, draft. And now I haven't drafted it yet, but it has all the telltales of being a good set to draft. So I'm really wondering how it, how it does draft. I'll have to tell you later. Ooh, better reunion again. That's a good one. Burrowing Razor Maw, Kill Zone Acrobat. Draxo Demon. Sacrifice another creature or artifact. Draw a card. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Draven Forge Canter. Dwarven Forge Canter. Prowess. Oh, I like that. Ward pay two life. So you have to lose two life to target this. But it does have prowess. That's cool. Well, I don't because it would be my creature. But if they wanted to kill it, they'd have to pay two life themselves. Unleash Shell. Unleash Shell. Okay. Unleash deals five damage to target creature planes or two damage to that permanent controller for five. Five for seven. It's not bad. Could be worse. Spectrum Sentinel. Protection from multicolored. In battlefield under your opponent's control, you gain one life. Ooh, I like that. For one, two, has protection from multicolors and under... And, okay. Yeah, I like that. Surant's Steel Seeker. That's actually a really good... Uh, uncommon. Though I don't see being able to do, you know, a lot of shenanigans with it. Just because some artifacts cost a lot. Yokitan Descendant. One in a green, whenever an artifact enters the battlefield, under your control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control. Okay. And the rare mythic is Autonomous Assembler for five, or you can prototype it for a white and a, and a regular for two as a 2-2, two, two. but it does have Vigilance. Pay one, tap, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target assembly worker you control. Um, yeah, you get it out early. That's not bad. Oh, Swift Foot Boots. That's cool in retro frame. Like that. And then those. I'm getting some I'm getting some good cards. Let's see if I can get a Urza or a Mishra. Clay Revenant. Yochin Medic. Lifelink. It's a 1 4. Falaji Archaeologist. Okay, I like that. Falaji Chain Dancer. Double strike until end of turn. That's not bad. Cost you two, though. But I put it in on one of my. I mean, yeah, I like it. It's a 2-4 a for 4, but I can give it double strike till end of turn. I like that. Uh, perimeter Patrol. Gixon Skull Flare. Tower Worker. Hard at work. Add 1 if you control creatures named Mine Worker and Power Plant Worker. Add 3 instead. Okay. So it's a take on the uh, Urza lands, on the Tron lands. Uh, wing Commando. Flying. Human Soldier. 2-2 two, two has Prowess. Okay, not bad. Trench Stalker. Ooh. Ooh. He's not pretty at all. He's kind of ugly. Trench Stalker. 
as you've drawn, as long as you've drawn two or more cards this turn, Trench Stalker has Death Touch and Life Link. Okay. Monastery Swift Spear. She's back for one and a one, two. Paste, uh, haste and prowess, and she's uncommon. Uh, Thopter Mechanic. That's a good one. One in a one in a blue. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, put a one one counter on Thopter Mechanic. When Thopter Mechanic dies, create a one one Thopter Mechanic or Thopter artifact creature token with flying. I thought it said something else. Never mind. That's okay. Combat Thresher for seven. Actually. Yeah, seven, it's a three, three with double strike, and he gets to draw a card. Or for three, it's a one, one with double strike, and he gets to draw a card. I would probably just put it in as a one, one. It's cheaper. Diabolic Intent. There you go. That's a great card. For one and a black, as long or as an additional cost, cast this spell. Sacrifice creature. Okay. Search library for a card. Put that card into your hand, then shuffle. That's a good card. I like it. Oop, Ornithopter. Ornithopter, the original. I like the original. Ooh, and a nice big forest. Basic land. And an elemental token. Okay. That's a good card. I like it. Diabolic Intent. I'm going to go search up whatever card I want after I sacrifice something. Thanos Tinkering. That's a good card, too. Dredge Claw. I like it. Aeronaut Cavalry. Third Path Savant. Draw two for seven. Mm, good for limited, but not... Wouldn't put it in a commander deck. Mishra's Onslaught. Three and a, three and a red. Create two 1-1 one, one soldier artifact creature tokens. Or, because you can only choose one, creatures you control get plus two plus zero until end of turn. So it's either a cantrip or you're putting an artifact, one one artifact creature token into play. At instant speed. Raise to the ground. That's a good one. This spell can't be countered. That's why it's good. Destroy target artifact if its mana value is one or less. Draw a card. Ravenous Gigamole. 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 He looks like a Gigamole. Mole, horror. Ravenous Gigamole enters the battlefield. Mill three cards. You may put a creature card from among the cards milled this way into your hand. If you don't, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Ravenous Gigamole. Then you got Sitenol, Sitenol, Stalwart. Elf Druid Soldier. Tap, tap an untapped artifact you control. Creature or, wait. Untap artifact or creature you control. Add one man of any color. I'm not liking that. Machine over matter. Do, do, do. This spell costs one less to cast if you control an artifact creature. Okay. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Okay. Look, there's Urza in the background. I like the flavor text on this one. A warlord decreed that only someone who could have who could move the statue would be strong enough to marry the princess. So Urza moved it. I like that. I didn't know he got married. That's the funny part. No one left behind. Four and a black. The spell costs three less. If it targets a creature card with mana value three or less, return target card, creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. Uh, Zephyr Sentinel. Flash and flying. When Zephyr Sentinel enters the battlefield, return up to one other... Target creature you can owner's hand. If it is a soldier, put a 1 1 counter in Zephyr Sentinel. Thopter Architect. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, target creature gains flying until end of turn. And then, ooh, there's Mishra. And I think that's schematic. Full art schematic. I like that. Mishra, Tamer of Makfa. Makfawa. Okay. Permanents you control have ward. Sacrifice a permanent. Each artifact card in your graveyard has unearth for one, a black, and a red. I like that. He's a 4-4. Four, four. That is definitely going to become... Oh, and Sculpting Steel. So that is becoming a commander in one of my commander decks. Sculpting Steel. That's a... Ooh, what is that? Soldier. Ooh, cool. Uh, that is definitely a, a commander that I will be making a deck around. 
these packs are stuck. Well, we got Mishra. Maybe we can get Urza. Now, I don't think he's the... I think he's one of the regular ones. I don't think he's a... Uh, he costs five. Is he the commander, the front commander, I wonder? For one of the commander decks? Goblin Firebomb. He might be. Recommission. Turn target artifact creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield if the creature enters the battlefield this way. Enter, or it enters with an additional 1-1 counter on it. Okay. Curate. Penragon Strongbull. Okay. Thanos Tinkering. Combat Courier. Sacrifice. Combat Courier. Draw a card on Earth. Blitz Atom Automaton. Uh, for seven, he's a six, four haste for three, two, he's a, or for, sorry, for three, he's a three, two with haste. Okay. Kind of like that. Fog of war. This is a good fog. Uh, you gain one life for each creature on the battlefield. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this what or this turn by creatures with power three or less. I like this fog. It's actually kind of fair. Energy Refraction. When Energy Refraction enters the battlefield, draw a card, add one mana of any color for two. See, I don't like this because it costs two. You do get a card back, but you have to pay two to get one color. Mm, not a big fan of that one. Third Path Iconoclast. Blue and a red. 2-1. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one colorless soldier artifact creature token. Okay, I like him. Falaji Dragon Engine. Okay. For eight, it's a five, five. For two and a red, he's a one, three. And they both have pay two. Falaji Dragon Engine gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's okay. I'd put him in a deck. Maybe not the best deck, but... Recruitment officer for one, look at the top, uh, sorry, for one, he's a two, one, uh, three and a white. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card with mana value three or less from among them. Put them into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay. So it's a recruiter, but he's a limited recruiter and he costs more and you can do it repeatedly. I like it. Ooh, fauna shaman. There you go. One and a green elf shaman. Uh, pay a green and tap, discard a creature card, search library for a creature card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Going in my elf deck. That's an awesome card. Yeah, I know. I didn't have one already in my elf deck. I should have, but I never did. I never bought one. And then Sigil, Sigil of Valor. Uh, two, whenever an equipped creature attacks alone, he gets plus one, plus one to on return. For each other creature you control, equip one. Okay. And then, ooh, Clay Revenant. That's our foil. And he's not that good. But we'll put him in the pile. And there's a power stone. Okay. Power stone. Add one. This mana can't be spent to cast a non-artifact spell. Last pack. Last pack to crack. We're already 18 minutes into this because I've been reading all the dang cards. But then again, I don't care. Um, Mishra's Onslaught again. Wasteful Harvest. Mill five, put an impermanent card from the cards milled this way into your hand, okay? Carrion Locust, ooh, two and a black, flying. Better. Enters the battlefield, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. If it was a creature card, you, uh, that player loses one life. Oh, okay. Disenchant, because you got to have a disenchant in this, sec in this deck, trust me. So many artifacts. Might Stones Animation. Uh, when Might Stones Animation enters the battlefield, draw a card, okay? Enchanted Artifact is a creature with base power and toughness 4-4 four, four in addition to its other types. I like that. So you're enchanting an artifact. It becomes a 4-4. Four, four. I like that. I like that a lot. Conscripted Infantry. Um, when Conscripted Infantry dies, create a 1-1 one, one colorless soldier artifact creature token. Oh, sorry. I had to uh, scratch my arm. I was getting a little bit of a itchiness to it for some weird reason. Might be because of how I have my hands on the table. Or my shoulder. Elder. You know what I'm talking about. Dwarven Forge Canter. 
Warlord Elite, which causes tap two untapped artifacts. We already had, saw that one. We already saw this one. Unleash Shell. We already saw this one. Ooh, Faluji Dragon Engine again. So, uh, ooh, Recruitment Officer. I kind of like that. Skyfisher Spider. Two, a black and a green. When it enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature. When you do, destroy target non-land permanent. When Sky Skyfisher Spider dies, you may gain one life for each creature card in the graveyard. If you do, exile Skyfisher Spider from your graveyard. Okay. Not bad. Kayla's Reconstruction. Look at the top seven cards of your library. Put an X artifact... Put up to X artifact and or creature cards with mana value three or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay, I like that. I like that. Ooh, quiet a spike. Three. Uh, it is equipped creature has death touch. And whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, that player loses half their life rounded up. Ooh, I like that a lot. Equip for three. And another Power Stone. So let's see what pre-release card we got. dun dun dun, dun. Portal to Phyrexia. Mm, that's interesting. It's nine. When Portal to Phyrexia enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices three creatures. Okay, at the beginning of your upkeep, put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Upkeep. Okay, it's a Phyrexian in addition to its other types. Oh, okay. At the beginning of your upkeep, put target creature card. From, oh, so you're choosing. You're just taking people's creatures. That's nice. That's broken in Commander. I'm so building that deck. So, yeah. Those two going in one deck. You know it. That is a good card. Portal to Phyrexia. It costs nine, but it's nine colorless, and there's so many ways of ramping a colorless. That is. And then, of course, Mishra, Tamer of Mark Fawa. Permanence you control have Ward Sacrifice Permanent. So even if this one, if when this was in, if someone ta uh, goes to get rid of it, they have to sacrifice permanent anyways. Each artifact card in your graveyard has unearth. So that's nice. I like that. That's a that's wicked. That is wicked. Ooh, look at that. Well, thanks for visiting. I do appreciate it. Those are great little pack openings. Got some great cards. Hit the thumbs up button, and I will see you later. Oh, leave a comment. Leave a comment.